Hepin is the first anticoagulant drug which is used to keep the blood in fluid state. And uh, initially when it was discovered, we needed something to do surgeries to keep heparin from clotting. So for such a long time, it's the only drug which can be given to patients to keep the blood in a fluid state and not have any thrombosis. Cardiovascular diseases such as myocardial infarction, stroke, or renal diseases or thrombosis, pulmonary embolism, they are currently about uh, 12 million per a year in the, all over the world and of these about 30 percent of these patients they will die about uh, just from pulmonary embolism uh, caused by deep vein thrombosis and this number is increasing over the next 10 years by about uh, 30 percent. Now is uh, the centenary of uh, the discovery of heparin and uh, we want to uh, celebrate this uh, with uh, a meeting, an extra meeting uh, and uh, we collect uh, a number of people and we are very uh, happy that uh, the initiative uh, have success. So uh, what I'll be speaking about today is at recent efforts really to uh, take molecular level characterization techniques and apply them to the control of heparin to make sure heparin is safe. And this evolved out of the situation that occurred in early 2008 where heparin uh, unfortunately was laced with a contaminant called oversulfated chondroitin sulfate. And that unfortunately caused uh, some severe reactions in people patients who are receiving heparin and ultimately probably led to some patient deaths. And I, while I can't say it's never going to happen again, I would say it would be very, very difficult at this point for a contaminant like oversulfated chondroitin sulfate to re-enter the heparin supply chain. For the anticoagulant purposes, I think the unfractionated heparin as we have used for the past 50 years, will it still be the drug of choice. The synthetic drugs are very useful. They can be used for preventing thrombosis and some other purposes, but they cannot be used for surgical purposes. They cannot be used like for open heart surgery, hemodialysis because these drugs are single target drugs. Heparin have uh, 100 years, but uh, we have uh, more to do after this, uh, and uh, more and more to study, and uh, also the, the use of heparin for the future is, uh, is open. Heparin have, uh, have a future now.